A heated moment at the state's Board of Education meeting today when a woman had to be escorted out. The board considered several new rules that will have direct impacts on classrooms across the state. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has more on the story from Tallahassee. That lengthy meeting lasted over four hours long, and the board approved several new rules during that time. And advocates on both sides of the arguments were continuously engaged. A teacher being shown the door today at the state's Board of Education meeting after she ran over her time allotted to speak. In a packed conference room, the board heard lengthy public comment as they discussed and later approved seven new rules for schools across the state. Motion carries. The new rules are sparked by the parental rights and education law that was passed earlier this year and went into effect in July. We are simply here to implement and execute those laws that the legislature, our elected representatives, have already passed. One of the rules approved disciplinary action against educators who talk about sexual orientation or gender identity in K through third grade classrooms. All this rule does is essentially update uh, the rules that we have that said that teachers have to follow the law. One lawmaker says this rule is an overreach. But I, I do see this going beyond what the original bill was. While one woman from Polk County voiced her opinion. I am thrilled that this amendment gives teeth to Commissioner Diaz's office. And another rule that sparked a fiery debate was about notifying parents if students are allowed to use a bathroom or locker room that is different from the student's biological sex at birth. What concerns me about this rule is that not only does it feed into just decades of, of anti-LGBTQ plus fervor, but it is based on a myth. The chairman of the education board emphasized the rule's simplicity. It's parental notification. It's not mandating what a particular bathroom looks like or doesn't look like or who can use it. It's about parental notification. Now, those were only two of the seven rules that were approved during the meeting, and the others include several hot button issues, like how classrooms in Florida are being reshaped in order to comply with the state's new parental rights and education law. Reporting in Tallahassee, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.